people that good lumber shoot last year. <laughs> yep. At this point. Yep. That's kind of people. Hey friends. This is Libby. Party? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Libby. Today I'm stealing an idea from Nisi Pisa because she's funnier than I am and she's the one who did the advice video first. Mm. She asked people if they wanted her advice and then she's oh, like, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be good at it or not, but here we go. So I asked people on Instagram and on Twitter uh, if they wanted our advice for anything and we're calling this Dear Labby. Because if you didn't know, I'm Abby and she's Libby and our grandfather used to call us Labby. <laughs> because sometimes he forgot which one he was talking to and he was well, he like, I'll just call you Labby. It was more that he didn't care which one he was talking yeah, to. Yeah. He wanted either one of our attention. He was like, one of you, talk to me. Get me something. So I have your, your questions, what you need advice in. Also, our downstairs neighbors are like straight are up raging. having a party, and I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a Monday night, and they're yeah. partying. This is March mood right now. Like I mentioned in the story, I was like, it may be good, it may be bad advice. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna not be serious because some of them were actually so, quite. So legally, we can't be held responsible for anything that you do. Yeah, legally, we can't be held responsible for any of the decisions that you make based on our recommendations. So yes. don't. Take us super seriously. No. How should I spend my free time? D doing the things that you like to do. <laughs> um, baking. Baking if you like to bake. Sewing if you like to sew. Learning a new skill. Livy started putting Norwegian labels on everything to try and learn Norwegian. So if mm -hmm. you want to learn a new language. Duolingo. Yeah. I haven't learned anything yet because I stopped doing that a long <laughs> time ago. You need I, to start watching Ragnarok. It's boring. <laughs> you should build a giant card tower and then take a picture of it and send it to us. And then knock it down. Let no. a puppy knock it down. That's what you should do. Also blanket forts. Yes. I highly recommend blanket Napping. forts. Yeah. I highly recommend taking a nap. We took an accidental nap yesterday because we took a Benadryl in the middle of the day. Uh huh. It was not the right choice. But we didn't know. It wasn't an actual Benadryl, but it was an allergy pill that we thought it was, was an off like brand an allergy, allergy pill, pill but that it was, was like a comparable to Benadryl. Drowsy. Next. That's what you should do. I hate my boyfriend's best friend. What do I do? Um. Challenge him to a arm wrestle. Find him a girlfriend <laughs> that you also don't like very much. Or a boyfriend, or depending a boyfriend. on what he's into. A significant other that you also don't Hook like. Hook them up with somebody else yeah. you don't like. <laughs> yeah, remember in Clueless, the teachers, she hooked up the teachers and then they both became better people. <laughs> or... Challenge them to an arm wrestle. Or sugar in their salt shaker or vice versa. Should I eat dinner or the rich? Both. The rich can be dessert. There's no nutritional value to them. Abby's a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> Literally look at my earrings. I don't condone cannibalism, but only if it's Jeff Bezos. Composting is great. Don't eat them. Just, just take their money. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what, what a day! day. <laughs> Best mixed drink to make at home. Wine. <laughs> you mix it with a glass. <laughs> We with made some a... actually, we made some real nice white wine spritzers the other we day. We did, we did, yes. So it was. If you get headaches, crappy, don't do white wine crap, spritzers though. Crappy, cheap white wine. Oh, the worst um, white wine. Peach then, Bellini mix. Was it That's Bellini? What it, it was peach Bellini oh, yeah, mix. Oh, yeah, it was just peach Bellini just, mix. It's like peach and juice then stuff. And seltzer water. Yeah, that was pretty good. If you get headaches, don't do that. But because really white wine gives that, you headaches. Yeah, but if you're gonna. Dilute it with a ton of I seltzer guess. water. It's really not that bad. 
It's good if you want something refreshing. Livy's just pro wine. She's also not drunk. I, I peep, uh, you're not drunk, right? No. No. I feel like I get people commenting in videos all the time, like, how drunk is your sister? Or how high is your sister? And I was like, no, that's just your personality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how do I deal with my uber conservative in laws and their annoying beliefs? Bring an iPod. <laughs> Um, uh, remember that one day we will all be dead and it won't really matter and just bring an iPod. <laughs> also, I feel like one thing that I feel like most people can agree on is interesting. I don't know, find a documentary that you both think are cool. Like bring up something that's like totally outside of everything political. Yeah. Like bring up I something that I can somebody old conservative people better than you can because they like me. well there's old and then there's just like our parents age like our parents age i'm assuming this person is that they're talking about they're in-laws oh so okay yeah so they're probably ta they're talking about mom and dad's age but yeah seriously if you bring up like documentaries just like totally fucking change a subject like yeah, I don't know. Food brings people together. Yeah. But... For a second, I thought they were listening to the Macarena. <laughs> How do you survive social distancing when it's just you and your cat? <laughs> um, Sounds like you've already kind of been practicing it. Make blanket forts. Blanket <laughs> forts. Blanket forts. You yeah, you're... That's... <laughs> blanket forts. Yes. No, but you seriously. know, make a TikTok and like record your cat doing funny, stupid shit. Isn't that because... why you got the cat? Was to <laughs> not be, is to just not be bored ever. Like I don't know. See, we don't have any pets. I wish no, we had I a had, pet. And I had two cats when I lived with my last roommate, and mm -hmm. and we're both mildly allergic. I'm to allergic, cats. so I'm like, they would bring a lot of mice and other animals. A bat. So you're saying like a dove. <laughs> I don't know. Just let them outside for a little while and see what happens. See what they bring back inside. I don't know. Yeah, you could entertain yourself for hours trying to get a mice out of mouse out of your <laughs> bed. <laughs> she actually had to get a mouse out of her bed once. Mm -hmm. How do you transition to a new job, i.e., writing a good two week notice, etc.? You just did that a few months I ago. I loved writing my two week notice. I literally just, just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. It's so nice. It says, On this day, blah, 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 I am giving you my two weeks notice. My final day will be blah, 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 blah. I have accepted a position in this field. You don't have to say even where you're going if you don't want to. I didn't say where I was going. But you're also, I think, worried that your boss might try and sabotage you. Yeah, I, I didn't want her to know where I was going. But, no, all you have to do is just be like, I accepted a position in this field. Thank you for your time. I had to leave one job that I... Well, two jobs that I didn't like and I got a lot of joy from telling them I was leaving via email. Um, and then I've left two jobs that I really did like, but the people who I worked for, like it was when I worked in retail and they were super stoked for what I was doing. So I gave like one of my notices in person. I just I gave both loud. my notices to my at my retail jobs in person because I wanted to tell them in person because I liked them as people. And I still I mean I don't talk to one of them as much anymore, but like I still go and visit one of my old bosses when I go to the mm -hmm. mall. Yeah, I mean I think if it's if it's a job that you like and the people that you work with who you like, doing it in person I think is 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 well, good. Well, you, you kind of either way you have to like and well, right. Notice. You, yeah. So it's either way, it's gonna be in person. Yeah. But you but either like, like verbalize it or you give yourself a little them... power pose. Just do a power pose in the mirror. Be like, I got this. Yeah. And then quit. Yeah. And then quit. You got this. Yeah. You got it. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited for you. Yeah. New jobs are always yeah. interesting. How to deal with low yeah. self esteem. That was weird. I literally went like this right when they got silent. How to deal with low self-esteem, i.e. not feeling pretty even in makeup. I think it's being... <laughs> it's gonna sound weird. Being stoked on the ugly. <laughs> 
get stoked on the ugly. I'm not including that. <laughs> you should. <laughs> you can just get to the very end where you just say, I'm not including that. Then you should be like, what was she saying? Oh, oh, oh. Bad advice. <laughs> just embrace the ugly. Be happy about it. Because if my, my mom said once that you know who your real friends are when you're not that pretty. <laughs> And that's because I wasn't that pretty. <laughs> and I'm not talking down upon myself. No. I'm just, I'm being honest. We were I'm, both awkward I fuckers in high school. Fat. I was very fat. I was happy about it. Yeah. I was like, I can win arm wrestling competitions anytime I want. I'm, I'm really good at defense and basketball. I'm really good. And well, I was better at batting in softball. Yes. She played softball with a wooden bat. When I was like seven. <laughs> um, but just embrace it. Be stoked on it because, you know, I guarantee you in 15 years, you're not going to think you were as ugly as you do now. Seriously, yeah. I mean, like, because I look at, like, old trends that I thought when I, like, put it on, I was like, ooh, I look cute. Now I look back on it and I was like, oh, God. Was, right now is a great time because nobody's going outside. Exactly. So. You're not impressing anyone. You yeah. don't have anyone to Play impress. Play around with your I makeup. Tell myself, Play around with your hair. Don't cut your bangs unless you know how to cut your bangs. Just don't cut your hair in general <laughs> by yourself unless you know how to. Because it's... We, you got it. You got it. Ooh. How to get over someone who doesn't love you back. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. That was rude. But... When, like, I would write out all of my own emotions. Because I... Seriously. Like, I wrote... Because I was in the middle of writing a book at one point. I wrote it all down. And then, like, the more I read it back, and I was like, Wow, this person sucks. Well, I guess it, it kind of it depends on the context, too. Right. Because it's like, like, were you dating? Because that's different. If you are pining over somebody who doesn't love you back, I have... Like if it's unrequited that, love that you that haven't... That was me um, up until I was 19 years old. And I just accepted and I told myself every day that as long as I was a better friend to them than their own girlfriend was, then at the very least I could make sure that if I didn't like their girlfriend, they wouldn't be their girlfriend for much longer. <laughs> but that was me in high school. Now I just don't have friends. Do you have friends? I have friends. I just am like, if I find myself being attracted to somebody that I know isn't going to like me back, or can't like me back. Um, you just avoid them. Yeah, avoid them. Because every time you avoid them, you're gonna feel like a powerful, strong Viking bitch. Well, and the thing, I've had kind of a similar wow. experience, like people who I've been into, but who weren't into me in that way, I paid attention to who they were dating and I was like, that person sucks. Uh -huh. So I'm like, if they're into that, then I don't want that at all. Because that's happened to me many times. So I was mm -hmm. like, why is this person dating if, this person? And they if, suck if that so much. Fails, if that fails, then just make up something about them that may or may not be true. Some conspiracy theory. They don't clean under their fingernails. Or maybe or just they like think make, the earth is flat. <laughs> maybe they're a flat earther. You could just tell yourself all of these things that helps. Just um, like trick your mind into yeah. thinking that they suck more than they actually yes, do. exactly. Okay, next. How to survive the wait until Umbrella Academy season two trailer drop? Watch the whole first season again and also watch Misfits. I didn't watch the Umbrella Academy. No, watch Misfits because it has Robert Sheehan in it. Listen to My Chemical Romance that because I know that Gerard Way wrote it. There's a lot of these like, how do I keep myself entertained during quarantine? I've actually been through quarantine before. Oh yeah, tell that story, Libby. <laughs> I have five days where I had to stay 12 feet away from everyone. Mm -hmm. Six feet was like the bare minimum. But Six feet like, from our dog, right? Well, and they, yeah, six feet from the dog. At one point, they said, it's fine if you touch the dog because they won't live long enough. I know, for it really to matter. Context. So I was radioactive. <laughs> radioactive. Yeah, I was radioactive for five days. And so, so wherever I was. Everybody no, else had to get no away. No one else could be. And then no one could share a toilet with me. Mm -hmm. and, or a bathroom or shower. Her thyroid fucked up on her. 
<laughs> I was I was gonna let you say it. I had a lot of dance parties by myself. Solo dance parties. Solo yeah, dance. solo I, dance I parties. I still do those. Watching all of Blade, except for the one when he was in jail for um, tax evasion. Which one was that one? Four. Oh. They made a fourth. Without Wesley Snipes? Yeah. Oh, Lame. Yeah, Blade Trinity. Yeah, so watch all of the Blades. The first three. All of them. Yeah. The, the, the fourth one doesn't the count. The real ones. Well, it's kind of like Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. Home Alone 3 doesn't count. Although Jake said that the fourth one really wasn't that bad. Yeah, but without Wesley Snipes, it's not Blade. Does that mean that without Vin Diesel, it's not Fast and Furious? Because what about Tokyo Drift? He was in it. Was he? Yes. He was in it at the end. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Top five condiments and their best uses. I mean, ranch. I mean, this isn't in like top five order. Like, right. They're all Just five in all five of them. Ranch for pizza. Fresh uncooked vegetable. Tots. Garlic bread is even oh, good. Yeah. Fried green tomatoes. Would you say barbecue sauce? Yes. Absolutely, okay. barbecue sauce. Because you can mix they it go with ranch. together and they go on anything French fries, tater tots, peri peri. Peri peri hot sauce. All Which of them? one? Yeah, whichever spice it's, you like. Yeah, there's three different levels. No, there's four levels. We have the mild. mild. Me no, we have medium. Oh, we have oh. medium? What are they doing? Miranda Shh, Lambert? Mustard. It's a fine. Mustard. Mustard. It goes on everything. Corn dogs, Hush sandwiches, puppies, chicken nuggets. Pigs <laughs> pigs like of pork. It's good on everything. And so also then, it doesn't expire. Sweet and sour sauce for the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Should I continue with my women and gender studies major? I'm not your mom. I, what it, uh, the question is, what, what are, are you, you going to do, do with, with it? it? <laughs> people ask me, why are you going to be a recreation major? And I says, I want to hang out with old people. That's what I want to do. I want to yeah. play games with old people. I think I if, you can, if you can wholeheartedly answer what you want to do with your yeah. degree, then keep on it. But if you are just getting the degree because it's something you're interested in now, but you don't know what you're going to do with it, I would say maybe like make it a minor and then do other things or at least get a minor in something else that you can just have or like... quit college. <laughs> no, but don't like... Don't quit college. Well, you started with math and then you stopped because you didn't like it. Then someone told me that you could get a career out of playing games with old people all day. Yeah. And, and I, you also had people in your program that were like park rangers. Yeah. Because yeah. there was like therapeutic rec and then there was outdoor rec. So like yes. park rangers. Tourism. Nursing. Yeah. There was a tourism faction. Yeah. And then um, community recreation. So outdoor, community, therapeutic, tourism. So I focused on community, which would be like parks and rec. Leslie, no, that's what I want to be one day. Yeah. So if you know exactly Good what luck. you want to do with it, Good luck. go for it. <laughs> We're both people who got our degrees and I'm still paying off my student loans. I'm almost done. Do you have a student loan? Uh -uh. This person, not frontline, but I'm still working. So they're essential. Mm -hmm. I need to unwind. What do you suggest? Naps. Going to bed early. I'm sick of people thinking it's weird to go to bed at 10 o'clock. Like, yeah. 10 o'clock is a reasonable time to go to bed. It's 10 06, and I'm like, it is time for nearing bed. my bedtime. <laughs> go and to sleep early. Yeah, just go to fucking sleep, bed. Sleep more than sleep you. Sleep through it. Dream through this nightmare. <laughs> That's what I did when I had cancer. Should I make lemon bars or apple pie? It depends on what you have in your fridge. We would make lemon bars. Because apple pie, but pie all, crust is hard. Yeah, but also it's like, if you have a pie, it's like either you are eating a whole pie for like five days <laughs> well, because you're quarantined or you have other people to feed the pie to, which is Dope. happy for you. But I feel like with apple pie, you need to have ice cream. Yeah. Like there needs to be like either ice cream or whipped cream to have with it. Lemon bars, you can just eat. Shh. They are still raging. Dating ideas for quarantine. 
I'm single, but trying to get a man. This is like an extreme version of love is blind. I'm, I'm never trying to get a man. And I've had it's one for almost four years, so. I do. But the ones that you've gotten in the past are not always great. I just have never been, I don't know. I have never felt uh, the need to want a man. Just a meta, like a, a ambiguous man. <laughs> because you have very little to lose right now. Like, either, like, throw it all out there or be absolutely ridiculous on Tinder. Like, it makes me think of, like, when I'm Mikey not. from Glamagore was doing, like, a, a Tinder experiment where she was having Tinder guys pick her makeup and stuff. Um, I don't or know. Or when Matt was, like, going through my Tinder profile. Yeah! Why, why would you want to, like, get super serious right now? Because, because the world is ending. I don't know. I wouldn't want to start dating somebody right now necessarily because then you wouldn't be able to, like, hang out with them. So, like, it could be, like, a good test of, like, if somebody's really into you because if they really like, like the conversation. Is it is. It's like love is blind, but, like... But also, do you really want to have to worry about another person at the apocalypse? Like, <laughs> no. I'm already, like, what am I going to do with Abby? What so, yeah. Abby can't protect herself in the apocalypse. What am I going to do? Hey. No, you have a good answer for this one. Okay. My boyfriend of four and a half years just broke up with me via text. I don't know how to respond. You don't respond. You wait for him to go to work. <laughs> just close your eyes, but... You wait for him to go to work. <laughs> and then you go to his car. And then you call AAA. And if you don't have AAA, then you should invest in AAA because you are an adult. Especially now that you're single, you're going to need it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're going to call AAA and you're going to have them get you into the car. They do not check to make sure it's your car. I need everyone to know no, that. No, yeah. You could be with any car and yeah. you're like, I need to get into this car. They will let you in. Yeah. So you get into the car and mm -hmm. then you open up a can of sardines. sardines <laughs> and then you hide them and under his dashboard. Yeah. And then you leave. Four and a half years via text, that fucking sucks. It is really shitty. My ex uh, tried to get back together with me and then started ghosting me and I was like, hmm, I bet you had a girl pregnant. And then a he couple did. weeks later, I was like, oh my God, I got pregnant. And then a few more months later, I was like, oh, they're married now. <laughs> And then however many months later. And then later, like a month and a half after that, I was like, oh, but they're in a domestic partnership now. And now they're divorced. I feel inspired to start my art interior design uh, Instagram. Too tacky to start it during this. This is from Erica, by the way. Do that. You should yeah. 100% do that. Yeah, now's the time. Do everything that you want to do. On unless social media. It's not, unless it hurts people. Yeah, so don't go outside, or but do anything that you can do outside. Yeah, if you can do it within the radius of your own home, go for it. Well, and it'd be a really fun time to, like... My like I Maybe not necessarily upcycle, but, like, rework the stuff that you have to, like, I don't know, feng shui. I rearrange things all the time. Probably once a week, so just let it happen. Yeah. Just roll with the feng shui. My boyfriend is a man-child about housework, and it infuriates me. What should I do? Um, beat him up. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I would say beat him up. Anyways. So, don't clean. And then he'll have to. Yeah. Dude. Hide it. Do what, your, do what our parents used yeah. to do, or what your parents would be like. If you leave this on the floor, I'm, I'm throwing, throwing it, it away. away. If you want to act like a child, I'm gonna start treating you like a child. Exactly. And the one person I got on Twitter, Dear Labby, I used to love drawing and art, but with all the shit going on, mixed with depression and anxiety, it's hard to find the motivation. As artistic folks yourselves, oh, thank you. How do you find the energy or inspiration to create again? <laughs> Honestly, right now, I haven't even been taking photos a lot. I would say there's like totally times where you don't need to feel creative. Because being creative and being productive are almost one and the same. Mm. So, like, there's times where I'm, like, I don't really feel like doing anything artsy-fartsy, but, like, I, I will also want to refurbish an entire desk, <laughs> which isn't 
artsy fartsy, but it is artsy fartsy because it's, it's like, creative. Yes, it, well, it's it's you're putting, doing something, doing something for an outcome that's pretty that you're like, yes. I like the way that looks. I think more people who are artsy, you need to tinker. Mm -hmm. You need to tinker more. Like try something different. Build like literally build something or like sand something and refurbish it. Like do something that your grandpa would be proud of. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Because obviously we can't leave right now. Obviously we can't go anywhere. So if you make your space feel different, I know I always feel a little bit more inspired when I. I mean, granted, mm -hmm. I don't always move my things a lot, but like when I like clean and rearrange some stuff within here, I don't move as much as you do. Do so even though we something. can't change our location, you can still change, change your, your scenery. Lo yeah. It's my boyfriend and I's first time celebrating his birthday, but with this shit going on, I don't know what to do. Help! You should make friendship bracelet. And then mail them to him? It's if you're funny. if you're quarantined together. Make friendship bracelets. And if you're not quarantined together then you should make a friendship bracelet because he's never gonna do it by himself if anything maybe don't send him nudes but like you could take like sexy photos but maybe not like straight up nudes don't do that it's a bad idea she doesn't like that idea bake a cake well luckily we we're done, done. Oh, we're yes done. so we're done i'll think of a song of the day and we'll put it right here unless you have a song of the day that you want to mention Okay, I'll think of something. It'll be right here. I think that Abby needs to get a TikTok, but it's not necessarily like a TikTok. She just TikToks the weird shit that I do that I don't share with you all because I need, um, I want an extra source of income. And if I could make that happen. So she wants me to get a TikTok so that so I can make money off of it and then just give it to her. Exactly, <laughs> off of my antics. <laughs> Off of my, because I, you guys don't even see half of the things. No, Libby says some of the. We laughed about the dumbest stuff what did yesterday. I say? What were we laughing about yesterday? You were like crying, laughing. No, it was the hat. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> we were watching uh, the Voice, no. and there was a girl on it no. who had a very large brimmed a, hat. It was a big brimmed hat. It was and large I, brimmed and hat. And I started looking at it, and I just started laughing and laughing, and I couldn't stop, and I started crying so hard. And I was and like, I, why? Why are you laughing so hard? And I said, because remember, it's scary movie three. <laughs> the signs bit where her you're hat just a, kept. I'll have need to put to it put in it. This scene in where it just gets bigger <laughs> and bigger. <laughs> Okay, that'll be all for us now. Thanks so much to my patrons. Y'all are great. I appreciate you so much. If you want to watch more of my videos and see more of my stuff. Uh, this eye got so ruined. Lift it up so they I can see the actual screen like... or the, oh, yeah. the background. I'm like holding Abby's computer because <laughs> I can see my face in the computer. And oh. oh. Once I put color correction on, it'll look better. Oh, good. I'm glad. Does that fix the fact that I have a giant... Infected scab Stop on my Stop kicking my tripod. I didn't kick it on purpose. <laughs> Wasn't there a, a Sum 41 record called Does This Look Infected? <laughs> <laughs> I think there was. Yeah, but then I started... I started singing in my head. Still went through my funny like when he was the Aldi, you know, but, it out. But, but then I also... Mashed it up with, yo, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> so in my head, they were playing. Some yo, so I never party like, like my name was El Nino. You had school, never going, going never showing up when we had to. Okay, we're gonna stop singing Sum 41 yeah, now. Okay, because... thanks everybody for watching. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Bye. Bye.